This is Jeff Locker with Casted. I am here in downtown Los Angeles for the premiere of Band-Aid. Every audition is extremely important. You never know who's going to see that audition. You gotta try and be up book. Never drop your script because you always have to hold it to show them it's a rehearsal. That's a little trick. The only advice that I really have is that if you if it's the only thing that you can really do, then you'll do it. So I knew that this is what I had to do, and whether that meant doing something like this or or improvising for a bunch of people under a supermarket, it all felt like part of what I my job. Find a story that you feel is really worth telling right now, and um, find a group of people that you really want to work with, because um, it's such a collaborative process, and um, and there are so many talented people that want to be making work. So just uh, seek them out and build an, an artistic community. Do your own thing. Surround yourself with funny people, so that you can. You know, you can develop a relationship with them and make them laugh. I mean, auditioning is it's a it's a challenge and it's difficult. But I think the best thing is to try and make it fun. Yeah. Go in and make one interesting decision. The moment I take it too seriously, the moment I get too focused on it, the moment it doesn't go well. Yeah. So I try not to give it too much importance, and I just try and have a good time. I feel like you have to believe it and just know within yourself that it's going to happen. Always work towards your goal. I, uh, one thing I read before I moved to LA in one of those like books about making it in LA was always do at least one thing for your career. That way you always feel like you're working as opposed to sitting home and not doing anything. Whether it be sending out headshots, whether it be uh, signing up for you know a, a class or whatever, always do something every day. And that way you feel like you're active and you're not stagnant. You have to believe it. And if you believe it, then the stress, half the stress comes off. Because you just know it's going to happen, you just don't know when. I found when I was, particularly when I was starting, uh, broke and, yep. and like just working as hard as possible to be prepared and anticipate any possible circumstance so you kind of can be ready so you don't have to get ready once once the things come up. Yeah. Doing as many things as possible to learn how people think, yeah. how casting directors think, yeah. that they're actually on your side. And their job is to discover something and to, and to have you win. If you win, they win, generally. So being able to kind of learn how to take your time in the room, yeah. learn how to, if you need another one, ask for it. Yeah. Receive a note and don't just go into it because you're not ready. You didn't really receive the note yet. Receive it, process it, walk through your bits. <laughs> and then go because yeah. then you look like you don't know how to take a note if you say I mean I was the king of that I'll take the note but yep 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 mm -hmm. and then go and completely throw that away and do what I prepared so giving yourself the time that you deserve and uh, if you treat yourself and your craft with that respect in the room then they'll, they'll likely do the same so